Welcome back, everyone. So now we are in the in the dev environment. So what we are going to do, we are going to install the Azure CLI. And in uh, order to install the Azure CLI, uh, I'm going to show you. We have a couple of prerequisite steps that we need to perform. Uh, the very first one is to to update the the package repository, and uh, that varies from uh, 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 Linux uh, flavor uh, to flavor or distro to distro. Uh, so if you are using Debian based uh, distribution of Linux, please use uh, APT. Otherwise, if there's uh, another group like you are using OpenSUSE, so you can use the YUM. All right. So because I'm using the the uh, Ubuntu, there are so many versions of Linux. So I have already installed on my main machine, but this machine is pretty clean. So I just want to show you that uh, how we can install the uh, uh, Azure CLI. So I've already updated the repo. So you can see uh, I'm on the wrong directory. Let me just go back quickly. Yeah. So I'm now back into my home directory. And there we go. So I'm back on my home directory. Let me clear that command. Yeah. So I've already run the run the apt get and I have updated all these. Uh, package uh, repository. Now I'm going to uh, add the certificate. And the, by the way, these are all the instructions given by Microsoft. There is no fancy thing that you need to, to learn. You can copy these instructions from the website as well. I'm going to add that file as part of uh, this uh, uh, this video. Uh, in the, the link is going to be in the, in the description. So you can see it is now adding some, some information. So let it uh, update the... Yeah, install the certificates. And now it's updating the, the system profile to add those configurations, so which looks quite good. Now we are going to get some additional information. By the way, curl is used to, if you want to get some information from, from the internet, you can use curl or there's another uh, uh, command wget. Uh, that, uh, that these are very handy once we don't have the, the, the front end. So especially once we're gonna spin up the, the, the Linux servers where we don't have the front end interface, these commands are going to be our, our uh, main main tools that we are going to use uh, to, to do our work. So that, uh, keep in mind that we need to, to uh, be very good in, in understanding and using of, of these commands. And by the way, more you will do it, more you will uh, get command on, on, on these, these commands. All right, so let me just add these keys. Oh, I think I'm missing something. There is... Let's see. Just bear with me. I'm just checking one thing. Is it the yeah? Let me add that as well. Then we will see. Yeah, it's all good. So I think I need to add that command in the same line in Imperial. So that, that's the command. By the way, the pipe sign is actually uh, uh, get the uh, input, uh, get the output from the previous command and use it as an input for, for the next command. So whatever this curl is going to be, if it is getting the keys, these keys are going to be handed over to uh, GPG uh, command and that will use these keys. And then whatever the output is going to be GPG, that is going to be input to, to the T command. And whatever is going to be an error, that's going to be dev null, which is uh, more probably nothing where you can throw all your error if you want to, you know, throw something into into more like you know a garbage bin which is unknown uh you can use that so so far there is no error we are we are going really well so now what i'm going to do let me just run the last prerequisite step that's it and now i'm going to 
add this entry into my file list so you can see i'm actually in the source list d uh, which contain the the uh, the the repo information for, for the application that has been installed on 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 linux so i'm just going to add the the android cli repo in it so now you can see that that entry has been added we can quickly go and we can confirm it so what i'm going to do now uh i'm just going to show the cat of etc and I'm looking for so you can see the entry has been added into 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 that file now we are pretty good and we are ready to install uh, the Azure uh, CLI. So let's first update the, the package repositories based on the above configuration that we have added. Cool. And now we are going to install. Install Azure. CLI. The, the actual command of the installation is pretty simple. And if you're going to see some errors, ignore them because uh, there might be uh, some issue uh, with, with, the, with the online repo that Microsoft has set it up. Maybe sometime the, the access to them are denied. It really depends how they have actually set up the, the whole architecture. But at the end, we, what we're going to do, we're going to actually test the, the, the installation uh, by running the, the, the CLI commands. And if those commands are, are returning us the, the output, that means we are uh, done with, with, the, uh, with the installation. So just an, uh, maybe a little while, and it's going to finalize the going to finalize the, the installation. So while we are waiting for it, I'm just going to prepare the, the testing script that I'm going to run. not going to hold you back. I'll be back as soon as it will be finished. All right, guys, the installation has been finished and hopefully we have the Azure CLI is available for, for, for the, the great work that we are going to do now. So let me quickly first have a look and uh, we are going to check our first command and I'm going to display the help just to test whether the, the, the CLI has been configured successfully or not. And there you go. We have the Azure CLI has been configured successfully. We can see the help is working and it is uh, displaying all, all the, the command now. Uh, if you remember the AWS, uh, Azure follow the same pattern. Like you're going to first see the, the, there is a pattern or, or a sequence in the syntax. So once you understand that syntax, handling anything at the, at the uh, script level is going to be very easy and uh, you're going to have a lot of power in in term of you know configuring and managing all the the services which you can also do from the portal but you're going to see that we have some additional powers once we come towards the uh, command line so let's quickly check the version so let me just clear the screen and i'm going to now check the version of the 
you can see we have the uh, Azure CLI. We have 2.39.0, and we obviously we have the core uh, uh, version. And now there is uh, one of the telemetry version. I, I believe that starts and that we need to uh, update that version. And you can see we already have that that uh, yellow indicator, uh, which is showing that we uh, we have one update available. We are not going to do the update at this stage until we reach to that point. But that that that's uh, the uh, that's the. Uh, the, the installation process of Azure CLI. Hopefully uh, you understand and you're gonna actually install at your end. Uh, feel free to jump to Microsoft website to get the instruction. I'm gonna attach the the uh, the file that I've used by myself uh, with the video. So you can use that. Uh, so once you install it in the later video, you're gonna enjoy the, the power which comes with the uh, Azure CLI. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to, to run the first login script uh, using the Azure CLI.